um, when I was about 12 or 13 years old, I was watching ESPN and I wasn't really meant to. It's about late at night and the UFC, like early days UFC came on and uh, my parents really, really want me watching it so I secretly snuck off and started watching it. And a guy called Frank Mir fought against Tank Abbott. It was a bit of a mismatch and I thought this guy called Tank Abbott was going to completely destroy him. And Frank Mir done a uh, martial art called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is a grappling martial art, and he was able to get him in a submission hold and beat him. Ever since then, I found a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gym near me called Nova Fulsa, it's a great gym, and since about 14, I've been doing that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Being a young fighter in the industry is hard because people never think you're serious, they see you as a kid when. At the end of the day, it's all with weight classes. You're all the same weight. You might, some people may have more experience, but if you train at a good gym like I do, then you shouldn't really have a disadvantage. Five years, I want to be pro. I'll have a few belts on me, hopefully, and pushing to be in the UFC. And then five years from that, I want to be the champion. How would you get to that point? Training. It's got to train. Like when you're not working or when you're not. When I used to be at school, in my freeze, I'll be training. Exactly like all you, it was all it is training, training hard, and training as much as you can. I'm not the same person inside the cage as outside the cage, because you need to change. You need to change personalities completely when you go in there. When I change completely, I'm, I'm quite a happy-go-lucky, normal guy outside. But when I go in, I'm all like the inside anger, but it's controlled anger. I'm, I'm not the normal cage fighter stigma. The image of being a fighter is completely wrong. People think you have to be tatted up, mohawk and big muscles. It's nothing like that. The best fighters, are, from what I've seen, are all calm, collected, normal people who dedicate themselves to martial arts. Because at the end of the day, martial arts is discipline, it's fitness and it's, it's fun as well. And the good thing about martial arts is on the mats there's no discrimination. All these people from whatever walks of life are all treated equally and they're all friends, like my, my gym, no force You get people from all walks of life and we're all brothers. Before a fight, you start uh, warming up, you start wrapping up, then it becomes real. People are rushing about, getting gloves to the right people, taping your gloves up, wrapping your knuckles. Everyone's got their own little rituals they do. You see the biggest, scariest men turn into the biggest wimps and some of the biggest wimps turn into the biggest, scariest men. And to be honest, I, I just sit down and I, I wouldn't say meditate, I just listen to music. Not anything pumps me up, just chilled out kind of music. And when they call my name, go out and do what you've got to do. And then afterwards, see your mates, see your family, have a few drinks and then have a big fat pizza. <laughs>